It's been a thousand years since Gyeonggi-do used its name. And one man has a mission to fly to Gyeonggi-do, South Korea and look around for historical, cultural, and ecological attractions around Gyeonggi-do. So today, welcome back to another video. So finally, oh my god, this morning was such... So my hotel is at Goyang, which is like an hour and a half from this place. Oh my god, the traffic! And the rain, oh my god, my travel time was so extended. It became like two and a half hours. What? So I left the hotel by like seven, eight, eight o'clock and then I got here, it's already 10.30 and it's raining. I didn't expect a heavy traffic today. Although I anticipated that the travel time from Goyang to Yongin would be that long. But it took me longer to get here because of the... But the good thing is, I made it here and I'm just walking my way to the entrance of the Falk village. But it's raining so I don't think I'll be able to like walk around the entire village. So maybe I'll just find some indoor attractions here. Also, it's so cold because it rained. It's raining rather. So although it's raining, there seems to be quite a lot of people today. Let's go to the entrance and I guess the admission here is free. Oh no, no it's not. What? Yeah, there's some charges for the admission. So let's go to the ticketing office. But I don't know, it's like a chaos in here. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's such a chaos entering this village. But now I'm inside the village and let's see what we can do in here. So unfortunately it's raining today so the amusement rides and the, or the amusement park is closed for today. But I still got the full admission so that maybe later the amusement park would be operating. So the performance area is right over here. So let's head to the performance area so that we can catch the first performance. It's so cool that the theme of the shops here are like traditional. Where's the performance area? Performance area, come on. I'm lost. It's nice to see this type of stuff like in person because I've only seen this like houses in Korean dramas. This village like shows locals and foreigners. What was it like then before during the Joseon dynasty here in Korea? So I guess that's the main point of this village. This is such a nice place because it's really big and then there's like an amusement park inside a traditional village. So oh my god, this is really cool. I want to experience the park but the weather is not permitting me so what to do. the workers here are like dressed in traditional Korean costumes so that's really cool so the rain stopped my god the rain is such a bummer to my entire trip but tomorrow I guess it won't rain based on the forecast so like I'm always up to date with regards to the forecast where the fuck am I I don't know where I am This place is like a prison. 
Oh god! I thought they were real. They look so real. Oh, that's me when I'm done with my life. So this area seems to be like a, a, a court area. Yeah, I guess. Ah, uh, this is the main office building. And then as you can see at my back, there are like torture devices. And look at these kids. They're like torturing their own classmate. Oh, go, go. <laughs> well, I found nine tails. <laughs> So in this area, we have the Kumriyonsa Buddhist Temple and fortunately, there's like a Korean drama that was filmed in this area. So let's check it out. It's like leading me into a forest. I don't know if this is the right path, but let's just check it. Oh, it's quite scary because I'm all alone in this place and I'm not sure if this is really... Oh, waiting room for traditional troop staff only. Okay. Oops. Hello. Uh, I guess this is the entrance to the Buddhist temple. It started raining again, so let's take cover inside this temple. Oh, damn I? Oh, it's really high. <sighs> wow. But what I love about this place is like they built it just to show how it looked like before during the Chosun dynasty. So far I'm impressed because like the traditional houses, the buildings, how they preserve their cultural sites. It's really or like historical sites. It's really impressive. There's nothing much to see in this place. It's quite empty and then the temple is closed. So I don't know what to do here. I'm just waiting for the rain to stop. <clears throat> I'm all alone, by the way, in this place, so... DISGUSTING! So I guess the performance at the performance area got cancelled. I guess I'll just move around a little bit because by 12.30 I need to get going. Because I'm going to move to another location, so... So there's like a vegetable plantation over here. Oh my god, look at the greenery. Oh my god, look how big they are. Yeah. Wow. Hello. Hello. Oh my god. So the traditional wedding introduction will be will be done in this area so I'm waiting for it to start. Good thing I was able to watch something for today. Okay, what what's this? I don't know, there's no sign. <laughs> Let's find a nice spot because it's still raining. The performance by the way will start at 12, so it's almost 12 o'clock.
this tree right here is called a sonandang and it plays a role in the village guardian deity. Also, there's a belief that if you spit saliva three times after putting three stones when passing through this area will like improve your luck. So should I spit just to improve my luck? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think I don't like it. So I'm at the marketplace and after an hour I was able to get my food because <laughs> unfortunately it was lining over there but you need to pay for your meal over there at the counter right there. Oh my god I'm so tired and it's super cold it's 12 degrees over here. Oh my god I don't know what to do. So I ordered bulgogi plus bibimbap. Okay. So let's eat and I'll check you guys later. So my lunch was great. So as much as I want to like move around this place more. It's raining. The rain is really... The rain is fucking ruining my day. This place is so beautiful. I bet if it's sunny, I was able to do a lot of things today. But when I was eating, it stopped raining. So I thought that it won't continue, but it started raining again. And also it's already 1.30, so I need to get going to my second location. I guess I'm gonna get a taxi now and transfer to my next location. This is the amusement park area, but it's closed today. Annyeonghaseyo! So I just bought my ticket. It's worth 7,000 won. This place is known for filming many Korean dramas like Moon Embracing the Sun, Jumong, and other well-known Korean dramas. So I'm just waiting for my friend to go down and because she's going to buy her ticket as well. And I'm going with her. So for the first time in this whole five days or nine days, I'm not going to be alone at this site. <laughs> Don't you have an umbrella? You have no umbrella? Oh. We do? Yeah. So, nandito ngayon tayo sa isang fort. Filming site ng MBC. And walang tao. So, madaming K-dramas ang na-film dito sa site na to. Like, yung sa Moon Embracing the Sun. And Jumong is also here. And also, Jewel in the Palace was like filmed here. But today, this place is really like walang tao. So, I have with me my friend Ilgin from Austria. We're gonna go tour around this entire park. Good thing I have her with me because I don't want to travel alone. But it's raining and it's really cold out here. But it's really nice. So, we just got us some coffee because it's really cold up here in the MBC Dramia or the Dejanggun Park. And look, we have a nice view of the entire filming area. Like, Oh my god, can you see that? As like what I've said, they used this area for like filming K-dramas which was broadcasted in MPC. So, for example, this area right here is used for this films or series dramas. Yeah, Jewel in the Crown. I guess Jewel in the Palace was filmed here. Uh, Moon Embracing the Sun was also filmed here. So this area was actually used in filming that K-drama. Oh wow! <laughs> it's really dark in there and it's really creepy so I just moved outside. Literally, I'm like in a K-drama scene so this is so surreal. We have here an exhibition hall of like everything that was filmed in this area. Oh my god, yeah, Kim So Hyun. I'm gonna show you a perfect view, a very nice view of the entire place. Check this out. 
oh my god we started right over there at that area and then we walk past through here walking down to this place and then it spans all the way up until there so it's a really big place so we're now at this beautiful like it's like a village down the hill from our place it's really nice look it's so cool So we're now back here at this fancy restaurant here in Suwon. It's really famous for its Suwon beef or the Sokal beef. So I'm with Ilgin. She's at the restaurant right now. So we only have this day for our free time. So we might as well eat something special. So I really love, I really love this beef. Yesterday we tried it and today we're trying it again. Although it's not really that cheap. It's quite expensive. Jang. 